It's got characters that the people want, and it's got characters that suit it. The question we're asking, in a sense, is does it have potential to be more than just a subsistence farm food? During the harvesting season, that is actually a happy season, a happy period. Farmers are very happy in this season because they are looking at the yield. It's a source of income for them, so they are very happy. So I have to be happy because it's something that generates food. It generates income for the farmer. What we're doing is we're actually recording quite a number of the traits of the plants themselves, the individual plants. So we're looking at things like the number of pods, the number of seed, whether it's a spreading type or whether it's a bunch type. And all of that information will give us an idea of what genes are controlling some of these traits. So we can start selecting for the genes that are actually likely to give us the traits that are most useful in the field. IT Genetic Resources Center consults 1,800 accessions of Bambara granite, which have been collected over the years from six different African countries, and it forms about 6% of the total collection of about 32,000 accessions of different food crops of Africa. And these are diverse enough for crop improvement, and they are available for distribution to requesters and researchers across the globe for food security. This is the Sutton Bonington campus of Nottingham University, and these are a series of new glass houses which have just been built which are very controllable in terms of things like temperature, carbon dioxide, uh, light, shading. So the idea with these is really to be in a position to replicate some of the tropical environment.